What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video and today. It is time that we discuss the 2024 Texas Senate race because we already have some significant developments after the Texas Congressman Colin Elrid just announced his candidacy to, in his opinion, try to oust Senator Ted Cruz. And we've seen some significant news come out of the state ever since he announced. And at first it seemed like good news, but then he didn't learn from Beto, it appears. Now before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter account in the description down below. Guys, go follow Real American Politics on Twitter. It's a great Twitter account to follow. I recommend you follow it. I also recommend you follow the Rumble page down below for exclusive content. And of course, I hope you join the channel. Guys, just for $3 a month, you can join Real American, which is a phenomenal deal as it helps support the daily content we all know and love. You love the daily content? Well, this is the best way to support it. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right. So, Congressman Colin Elred, has seek, who is trying to oust Ted Cruz, has raised more than $2 million in just 36 hours. Representative Colin Elred, a Democrat from Texas, the former NFL linebacker who is trying to unseat Ted Cruz, ever since he launched his campaign, people are saying he's doing a great job. He has made, raised $2 million. He's also said 34 and a half, 34000 People actually chipped in. Now, this haul illustrates that liberal donors are fired up about a chance to oust Cruz and te turn Texas blue. The Blexus stuff is back. Are you freaking serious? Cruz, one of the most polarizing Republicans in the Senate, narrowly beat Democrat challenger Beto in the 2018 midterm election cycle. Now, just like I've said multiple times, that was because of a blue wave, Cruz pissing off the base, and at the time, Beto being an actual solid recruit. So, Elred in his announcement video, he talked about January 6th for half of it. And he, he's highlighting the fact that, you know, oh, he's a bipartisan, you know, congressman. Even though he votes Democrat 99% of the time, he's totally a, you know, bipartisan Democrat. So, everything you're seeing here... People are saying this is great news for Elred. Well, he already made a major blunder. When I thought incompetency from the Democrat Party was reached, they do something more. He didn't learn from Beto. Ted Cruz challenger said it would have been better if the Second Amendment had not been written. That is right. This isn't some bullshit news. This is right a quote from him. In a resurfaced video from 2018, Congressman Colin Elvred, a Democrat, of course, weighed on the right to bear arms and said he did not believe the Second Amendment should have been written in the first place. Within the confines of the accurately applied Second Amendment, we could do everything we want to as far as regulated weapons and all that. Elvred said, The Second Amendment does have in the first sentence in order to maintain a well-regulated militia, and the right to keep bear arms shall not be infringed. Yeah, I just love the fact that he just mindlessly just ignores the second part. And it's two ideas there. The recent trend has been only to focus on the right to bear arms and to the well-regulated militia part. What? Because it's the same thing. I mean, what? So we're going to just ignore the second part and just talk about the first half? Really? <laughs> I mean... Come on now, these arguments about the Second Amendment are just stupid. Would have been better if it had not been written, of course. But there's no chance that we're going to repeal any Bill of Rights amendments, the Texas Democrats said. I'm not talking about politically. It wouldn't happen. It's not within the bounds of reality in this country, he added. Which, I mean, that's technically false. I mean, they, they did repeal probation with another amendment, but that's whatever. I just love the fact that Democrats have not learned. This is Texas. You do not piss off the gun owners of Texas whatsoever. 
And this idea that Americans support gun regulation and that baloney. That's been debunked so many times. I mean, look at a state like Maine and Oregon. Some of the more, you know, gun control, you know, uh, referendums in one of the states, it barely passed. That was Oregon last year. But in Maine, they had a, I think it was just a generic background check, nothing extreme about it. It failed in 2016, I believe it was. So these Democrats are delusional when it comes to the issue of guns. This is Texas. This isn't California. This isn't Illinois. This is the state of Texas. I don't care if there's been more and more Democrats moving there or not. It is still culturally, most of, most of parts of Texas, still Texas. A lot of gun owners, they support the right to bear arms. And here's a note. You notice every Democrat that says some extreme stuff about guns. I mean, not even Bernie Sanders went as far as what Elvridge said. Bernie Sanders, at least, you know, he makes, you know, I disagree with him, but he sounds halfway competent on the issue of guns. I mean, I disagree with him completely. I think he has a wrong opinion, but, you know, at least you can debate and say you're wrong, but I can understand where you're coming from. This guy's pretty much saying we should never have a Second Amendment. How do you think that's going to bode well over in Texas? Beto said the same thing about, hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15s, yada, yada, yada. And then, well, you know, tripled down on it, then it suddenly flipped on it when he ran for governor. It doesn't work. And look how bad Beto got crushed in 2022 after he suddenly flipped on guns. He lost by 11. So, this news already, I think, hurts Elvrin majorly because you don't run as a statewide Democrat in Texas, or really any state, and you say this about the Second Amendment. It doesn't usually end well. You notice Democrats, they always try to paint it as common sense reform, not, we're going to take away your right to bear arms. The ones that do, they usually do pretty bad at the ballot box. So already, this could be a trouble sign for Elvin. Plus, his voting record on stuff like immigration. If Ted Cruz hits him, this may not be as close as many people think. I, I think Cruz wins by, I would say, you know, I'm not going to say margin-wise, you know. If I had to guess, it would probably be like triple what he won in 2018, which is like probably like a six, seven point victory as of now. But if he hammers Elvin on this in immigration... Which, by the way, Elvin has a horrendous record on immigration. Don't let him fool you about this bipartisan crap. We just got to see what happens. He may get crushed. He may get annihilated against Ted Cruz of all people. So, while yes, he had a pretty impressive fundraising haul, his statements from the past may bite him in a state like Texas. But knowing the Republican Party, they're going to just ignore this because... That's how they usually are, and I, I cannot give the fact he's running as a bipartisan. If Cruz's campaign was halfway competent, they would hammer the fact he's an extremist on guns and extremist on immigration. He basically doesn't want borders. So hopefully he does. I think they will, actually. I mean, these are some easy attacks. I mean, this basically saying that the Second Amendment was a mistake. Not going to go well. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching second the second video of today. If you did enjoy, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. And, of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.